I want to use Excel to illustrate the difference between going long a stock and buying a call option. So you buy a call or you buy the stock because you think the price will go up. Now there are some differences here and we can see that from this graph and from this table I created. So for example suppose you bought the stock at a price of $20. Let me just scroll down here. Then your break-even point is $20, right? We'll just assume no commission cost and you know, if the price doesn't change from 20, you've made no money, you've lost some money. If it falls to 18, you lose $2. If it goes up to 24, you've made four, etc. And so you have this straight line here where you can lose as much as $20. And there's really no limit to how much money you can make because the price of the stock can just continue, can continue to go up and up. And there's no limit to how long you can hold it. So people who bought Berkshire Hathaway stock back in the 60s for $12 and have held on to it, the price is um, north of 400000 these days. So there's really no limit to how high it can go. Other stocks have gone up an equal amount, perhaps, but have split so that they've kept the price lower. So, but in um, split-adjusted terms, you know, many of them are many, many times higher than the price paid for it. Now, when you buy a call option, what you're doing is you're not, you don't own the stock. You're buying for the privilege of being able to, for example, buy at an exercise price of $20. So you buy a call option with an exercise price and you have the right, but not the obligation to buy at this exercise price. And I've picked the price to be the same as the price of the stock. And I'm going to say that the premium is $2. So when you draw this graph, this is this blue line that looks a little bit like a hockey stick. What happens is you start $2 in the hole. You paid $2 for this contract and the right to be able to buy at 20 isn't valuable if the stock price is below 20. Say the stock price is eight. If you want to own the stock, there's no reason to buy it at 20 using the call option. You just go into the marketplace and buy it for eight. So at any price below 20, you simply lose your $2. For every dollar it goes above 20, you make a dollar. So the break even point here is 22, right? You paid $2 for the contract. The price has to rise $2 above the exercise price. And then you break even. And then from here on in, it looks very much like buying the stock. It can go up, it can keep going up. The difference is, is this horizontal distance between the long position in the stock and the long position in the call. And that difference is that $2 premium. But why did you buy it? You bought it so that you wouldn't have any of this downside, right? Instead of a maximum loss of $20, your maximum loss is two dollars. Now the other difference here is the fact that options expire. So uh, essentially you have an insurance contract that lets you make money on the upside and limit your losses on the downside but when the option expires if you don't um, continue that position if you don't add another long call option you're not going to have the opportunity to participate if the stock price goes up if you buy the stock and it can go decades and not do anything and then all of a sudden the price shoots up and if you haven't sold it you're going to reap those benefits you don't have to buy it again and again so that's another difference so the long call option is a great strategy for trying to make money short term um, but when you think the price is going to go up but to limit your downside losses so I hope this picture helps to illustrate it. You can do it in Excel. It's nice to do it in Excel because you can put in the payoff strategies here or, and create a table and then draw the graph. How do you do that? So a call option is, in this case, the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price or zero. And then you want to subtract out the premium you paid for it. So in Excel terms, it's going to be B7 minus 
D dollar sign three, you want to put the dollar sign in so you can copy it down, minus the cost of the premium, which is two dollars, and that's in cell D, uh, D2, so D dollar sign two, and you can just copy this down. The long position in the stock is simply going to be the stock price minus the price you paid for the stock. So since I used 20 again, I'll just use this point here. So it's going to be B7 minus uh, D dollar sign 3. And you just copy it down. And if you want to draw the graph, you can highlight these cells here and um, go to Insert. And you can try and figure out which graph to choose, or you can choose the recommended graph. And if you have an idea of what it should look like, you'll be able to um, choose the correct graph, because they have a bunch of different graphs here, bar graphs and, you know, I guess horizontal, they call them stacked bar graphs, etc. So this is a great way to illustrate this, to actually see the numbers here, and then to see visually what the difference is.